Top 7 Stunningly Eerie Abandoned Places Around the World One, Kolmanskop, Namibia. You wouldn't guess by looking at it now, but the town of Kolmanskop was once the spot of diamond mining and extravagance in 1908. But once the Fairweather inhabitants discovered more diamonds south of Kolmanskop, the site instantly became a ghost town. It is now famous for its eerie, sand-filled houses, which have appeared on screen several times, notably in Dust Devil, 1993, and The King is Alive. 2. Vale di Mulini, Valley of the Mills, Sorrento, Italy. Located in a deep crevasse created by a prehistoric earthquake, the buildings of the Valley of the Mills are actually quite modern, at least as far as Italian ruins go. While the mills themselves were built from stone as far back as the 13th century, the site was not abandoned until much later. The mills were relocated to the nearby Piazzo Tasso in 1866, and the site was completely abandoned in the 1940s. The stone buildings quickly became overgrown with vegetation that thrived in the humid crevasse, making the valley appear as if it has been unused for centuries. 3. Great Train Graveyard, Uni, Bolivia Uni is mainly known for its salt flats and red lakes, but the Bolivian region has another unusual tourist attraction, a cemetery of abandoned, antique drains. In the early 19th century, plans were made to extend Uuni's transportation network and build more train tracks through the city, but the project was abandoned due to technical difficulties and tensions with local indigenous people. The trains were still used to transport minerals to port cities on the Pacific, but the minerals ran out in the 1940s, the miners left town, and the equipment was left sitting out in the desert. Time and salty winds have since corroded the trains, resulting in the great train graveyard you see today. Five, Bannerman Castle, New York. Scottish immigrant Francis Bannerman achieved his American dream and made a mint collecting and selling army surplus goods, cannons, Civil War uniforms, etc. After a major purchase following the Spanish-American Civil War, Bannerman had to find a larger space to set up shop. Luckily, he stumbled upon Polepel Island on the Hudson River, a perfect place to erect a Scottish-style castle, as one does. Throughout the 20th century, the structure went through hell, a gunpowder explosion, ferry boat crash, and three-day fire. Conservation efforts have been protecting the castle since the 1990s. Seven, El Hotel del Salto, Colombia. During the Roaring Twenties, this structure was built as an architect's mansion, one that would make guests be gawk. Since then, the cliffside structure has had a few major makeovers. It became the 18-story Hotel del Salto in the 1950s, but was abandoned shortly afterwards and left to collect moss and tales of ghosts and hauntings. It was most recently converted into the Tequendama Falls Museum.